what's going on it's craig b cards this is going to be a well there's actually one other card that's not a sandberg but this is going to be pretty much a sandberg pickup video i've been saving up some stuff been uh, buying a little bit more sandberg stuff more than usual lately so let me first show so we got a nice little stack of cards here and then a couple other uh, bigger things here just bigger in size but the first thing that's not the Sandberg was, I probably owned this card a half dozen times in my life, but I'd always sold the stuff. So I picked up this Bo Jackson uh, because I didn't have it and because it completes my set. The very, the very, very, very valuable hand collated 1990, yeah, there was a 91. I don't, I always forget what score. They always kind of blended in together. 1990 score baseball set. I got this a couple weeks ago. So this is the one non-Sandberg thing that I bought recently. Well, actually, yeah, but that I've received other than the NFL Greatest Football, which I'll be doing a video on that very soon. So let's get to the stack here. I'm gonna pull, show you the top card and pull it off. So this I got really cheap because I didn't think I had it. And then when I got it, I realized I already had it. So Sandberg Mojos, I've always been a huge fan of the Mojos. So this is the worst card of the Sandbergs that I just bought, and I already had it. Let's put that over here. Next card, we have a numbered out of 2022 a Sandberg card. I don't know if I have this or not. I haven't looked yet. I wanted to do the Sandberg pickups video right now so I could put some stuff away. I may already have this card, but I got this for a really good price. I got it for like three bucks. So if I already have it, any numbered card, I don't care if I have multiples of. So this is the second card. This next card shouldn't really look familiar to you. We've been opening these up recently. The 93, I believe, 93 Donruss. This is a promo card, 1993 Donruss. They did, I think, uh, 10 or 15 players for promo cards. I think they sent off like uh, the set a set of promo cards to dealers. When I when I was when I opened a bunch of these packs for the additional junk wax video, more that's coming too soon. Um, I started. I took all those cards, started organizing what I had for the set. You know, to start putting together. I knew I didn't have the set, but. And then I realized that I had some promo cards. I always get Cecil Fielder. So there was a Cecil Fielder promo, and then there was, I think, a Molitor. So I'm like, I wonder if there's a Sandberg, and there was. This, this is not, that's the arm, that's not a crease there. So there was only one of these for sale on eBay. One of them, there was a, there was a pack lot, an, un, an unopened lot, like in the clear cellophane, and there was like, I think like six or seven, maybe eight of them. I don't know how many were per pack, but they didn't advertise a Sandberg being on the front of back one of them. And they wanted like 40 bucks for the lot. So I was like, nah, I'll just get the gear. I got this for under 10 bucks. Even though it's probably not valuable, it's still a relatively rare Sandberg um, promo card. So I'm very happy to discover this and add that to the collection. The next card, I just got this one in yesterday actually. This. You know, I had a pretty big watch list on eBay, and this was the first card that I had on there. And I just didn't pull the trigger, didn't pull the trigger, didn't pull. It wasn't that much, but you can see the blank back. I'm big, big, big fan of the the food and drink cards. This is from a Wheaties box where you cut it out. There was only two other ones online. One looked like I was drunk and had cut it out when I was five years old. It was so bad. And it was only for like three bucks and like no that's not even worth it and then there was a box that was uncut but it was twice as much as this and like you know i, I prefer cards so it was like this was like 11 12 bucks out the door so sandberg was wheaties cards pretty well cut i'm happy with it there is a little creasing on it but that's okay it's from a cereal box next card and i like this card a lot this is a select and this is out of 50, two out of 50. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I paid for this one. Oh yeah, Mr. T wanted me to do this video. No more buying any more cards for me, fucker. Um, 
Everybody wants to see what my Sandberg. I just remembered that. So yeah, this is out of 50. I like this. I was actually, I like select more than I should. Uh, very cool to get this. I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this for under 10 bucks also. This next card, we start getting into a little bit better stuff. This was out of 2,500. I wasn't planning on buying this card. I just randomly came across it. There was one or two other ones that were a lot higher price than this. I did a best offer on this and got this at the pretty good price. Kind of was uh, kind of smitten with this card when I saw it, just like the design of it and the gold. And so a nice numbered Sandberg from back in the day. This, not well, no, this is my second favorite card. It's actually less than a couple of those other cards, but I just, for some reason, I just love the color in this one. This is a top something. I don't know. Out of uh, 199, I just love the orange and the reflective off it. So this is uh, yeah 199. So I saw this card, I had to buy it. I got a, a couple bucks off and a best offer. So very happy to get that one also. And bef I got a new another bat relic card of Sandberg. And before I show you the new card, I wanted to show you this was my old favorite bat relic. I've had this for a while. This is one of my first early, I mean, not big, but bigger pickups. This is Sandberg, Ron Santo, and Billy Williams. I've shown this card before. I love that scarlet red. I love the bat rack idea. Leaf does the bat rack stuff too, but theirs looks a lot cheaper. But uh, this has always been a great card for me. Numbered out of 300, so not crazy rare or anything. But I've had this for a while, and I didn't think I'd be able to beat this as my favorite card. But let's add on Andre Dawson. So I've been wanting this one ever since I heard it existed. I probably wouldn't have bought this one if I knew this one existed. So it's the same three, Sandberg, Santo, Billy Williams, and add on the Hawk, Andre Dawson. So the four bat rack card. Uh, and the weird thing is that this is not numbered. Like, how is this numbered out of 300? But this is more and better, but not numbered. Maybe it's... Well, sometimes stuff can be rare and not numbered, but so this is my bigger pickup for Sandberg. Uh, very happy to get this card in my collection. Been wanting this for a while. Uh, like I was saying, I got to go through. Oh, I forgot the big stuff too. Hold on a sec here. Okay, so put those. This I already had, so we'll put that right there. So this, I don't know why I bought this. I got it like for a, a buck and then shipping. So this is was in a bind, it's like a binder thing. And I thought it was two separate pieces of paper, but it was actually kind of happy when I got this. It's actually a fold out. So it's one. Sandberg up close, and it's got highlights and you know different pictures and on the back. So this is cool. I bought it for a buck and then a couple dollars shipping. I don't know why they would even sell it for that much. I mean because it came in a big package. I'm sure it costs almost as much as ship. They didn't make any money off it. And uh, it did not It did not come in this plastic. I had this plastic, so this is cool. Not the greatest thing ever. Not Nothing really valuable about it, but I was happy to find that I'd never seen it before. And then this last thing is something I wanted for a long time. It probably doesn't seem like it's that valuable or that rare, but it's been really hard to find. And this is a score uh, promo panel. And this, I looked at all the panels to get ideas and prices and every, everything. This is easily the best panel. You have Sandberg, Alomar, and Puckett. And then the second best Henderson ever to play baseball, Dave Henderson. And this is, was one big panel. When I first was going through score, doing a deep dive into it, this was one of the things that I needed, and someone had it for 40 bucks plus shipping. I tried to bargain them down and they wouldn't. Um, so I eventually passed on it and for, kind of forgot about it. And then I went through the list again. Mr. T sent me uh, a Beckett list of all the stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I remembered it, looked it up. So I got this one for about almost $20 less than what I would have paid had I bought it before. Maybe it was the same seller and he'd lowered his price, I don't know. So I still paid some money for it, 
but this is definitely something I wanted for a long time. I love this panel. So that's it for this Sandberg pickup. I got, I think, five more Sandbergs on the way, and I'm looking at uh, two or three more uh, stuff that I like, cooler, at, a, at a, you know what I consider to be a good price. So I have another Sandbergs pickup eventually. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later.